Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim Special Edition Survival. Alrighty, when we left off, we were in Kravanger Cave, and I just walked into the Brood Lair. And now we're going to uh, slowly but surely work our way through. Just sniping from the distance. Whoa, okay, that was a hell <laughs> it's a hell of a break for the graphics. Oof. Oof. That is not supposed to happen at all. There we go. That's two down. Wait, what? 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 Didn't... One... Okay. I was about to be very confused. Because <laughs> one didn't have any loot with it. Okay. That is weird. So we're already on a rollicking good start <laughs> with this episode. And we just need to get a little bit further into the area. Uh, there's also this here. Can I actually break through it with punches? Well, I mean, either way, it doesn't matter. I can get to the chest without breaking it open. So, I'll just pick up all of that good stuff right there. Eh. It doesn't matter. Important thing is that I continue moving forward. We were in Kravanger Cave to get the necklace for Bikai. Which was stolen by... Two elves, presumably? Or at least one elf. Oh. Huh? Oh. Well. Let's just see how this plays out. Apparently, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, well. They're both within death. Which it makes it easy for me. Uh oh. That's not fair. You were supposed to be nearly dead. That's really not fair. That is shenanigans. <laughs> okay, well. Time to get into the fight. Is it though? Whoop, oh, jeez. Okay, well. Time for food, I think. Uh, let's have... Vegetable soup? Yeah, that's good. Okay. And... Let's throw one of my fortify health potions on me. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, come on. Will you now? So right now you're not doing a good job. <laughs> Perfect. A golden locket. Inside is a drawing of a female Kajiti cub. Interesting. Dwarven sword of freezing? Mine now. Alright. Now, oh, apparently he fought some other frostbite spiders at the same time. Hmm, interesting. Ooh. Moonstone ore. Beautiful. Gotta love when I can get that. 
Okay, so the biggest thing in the East March area has now been done. Fantastic. Well, at least the biggest thing I can think of that needed to be done here. There is a lot of cobwebs around here. Jesus. I mean, it makes sense, brood lair and all, but still. Wow. More than I thought possible. Tell you that much. Oh. Didn't realize there was a exit up there. I usually just exited back the way I came. Okay, so ooh, ooh. getting a lot of good stuff. Anything good around here other than what I Already looted? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Go through here. Okay. Fair enough. Out we go. Where does this drop me off at? Oh! Basically right at the entrance. Cool. Perfect. Then out I go. Oh yeah. So we did the thing. Huzzah. And then, you know, just need to loot other things like that. That is useful for a quest later. Very useful. Um... I don't think there's much else I need to do here other than grab the occasional jazz bake grapes which is basically all over the entirety of East March so really I could get them anywhere in this area at any time but that's it really it's all that I know I need to do that's in this general area at least I think so double check yeah that's everything okay so back to white run we go aha okay notice this though what is this silver okay i'll take it i'll always take silver hi ho hi ho it's off to work we go i can't whistle <laughs> i could never whistle <laughs> my front teeth are too big makes it impossible for me to do the whistling mouth shape necessary <sighs> it's a shame so we got a dragon there a dragon roost hmm. interesting something we can do later but that is for like I said later uh, I don't need to go back in and go away and see if I can pick up any jazz bait grapes along the way just so I can get more of that collection I need to do out of the way a maybe that's a yes all right good and that's a maybe yes that is also a yes like i said it's all over the damn place at least in east march east march i can speak really i can just sometimes i don't do that good a job <laughs> uh, comes with the territory of having a weird mouth shape hmm 
that had to be corrected with braces when I was a well kid. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, it's, it's a weird thing, I've noticed. Like, most people who have had braces growing up have difficulty speaking normally. Oh. Hello. At least in my experience, I've found that. Which is really weird to me. Especially after the braces have been long since taken off. Nope, that's not good, but that is. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure I get all the jazz bait grapes I can. And where am I at in that number anyway? I am at... 12. Just need 8 more. It is for a quest. It is for a semi-useful, important quest. So... That's the reason why I'm doing this. FYI. But yeah, anyway. Since I keep... <laughs> since I keep deviating off of the path of the conversation I'm trying to have, it's, uh, it's a little odd that constantly I come across people who had braces who will occasionally stumble over their words because their mouth will not cooperate and it's I, I wonder really how that correlates if there's actually a, a higher percentage of people who have had braces that just fail to be able to speak uh, sometimes because their mouth shape just got in the way it's an interesting question that I'm sure only I have ever had <laughs> in my head. And I'm sure will never get investigated further than just me talking about it. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep wandering around a bit till I find enough jazz big grapes. Which, so far I'm doing pretty good. That... I've never seen the leaves move before. That was new. That was extremely new. And that was a... Oh. That's a wolf getting in front of some Imperial troops. And now is probably dead. Well. That's what happened. Okay. Pick some jazz bay there, jazz bay there, good. And some tents. With some naked people. Just relaxing in. Relaxing in the hot springs, huh? Okay. Well, I'll leave you be. I was just hunting for jazz big grapes. Bye bye I guess. Okay. I've kind of gone into a circle, haven't I? Yeah, I kind of have. But... It's a circle that should net me all of the things I needed. Because I'm now sitting at what? 22. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need to worry about it anymore. Oh, but what's this? Grundum. Okay. That I could use. Smithy. Increased. Okay. Wunderbar. There we go. I'm done. And I can get out of here. Oops, not like that. Whee! What is? What is that uh, thing over here, anyway? Is this what I think it is? This 
place what I think it is? Is it maybe? Possibly? Yes, it is. Ah. That's my inventory. Um, looking pretty okay. Would have been nice to have some help pulling it out. You used to love finding new places. I still do. I just like to have food waiting for me when I come home. Okay, all right. That is a that is a lover squabble. I don't want to be a part of. She's a smart little girl. Might talk your ear off, but she's fun. Well, I know she thinks the world of you. Well, I'll try to be a good influence then. Oh, well, that's good. Sonic, the what? Oh, what about it? That it was black and gross, and nobody wanted to live there anymore. I'll have to take your word on that one, my dear. Okay. The what? I don't want to hear another word about what you're learning from the Argonian. It's high time you learn to be a Nord too. But Mama. He's a half-decent farmer. Ask him to teach you to farm. <laughs> okay. Argonian. There's an Argonian here? Interesting. This place has quite a menagerie. Makes it really weird that it's sitting smack dab in the middle of, uh, East March. Where it's all Nords first. Uh. Okay, time to cross this bridge. You see a female Khajiit leaned against the rock down by the water's edge. Upon closer inspection, she appears to be injured. Oh no! Took it. Took what? Are you alright? Everything hurts. I bet. Uh, I should have a healing mo potion in here somewhere. M mo healing motion. That would be... <laughs> fantastic. A healing motion. Alright. <sighs> Why am I allowed to speak? Okay. Um. Let's give you... Yeah, let's not be stingy. Let's give you two. This spell is not helping. Oop. If you have any restoration spells, they may be more useful. Well, I gave you the I gave you the potion. Not necessarily restoration, but should be good enough. Do you feel any better? Makara will survive. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. What happened to you? This one was jumped by bandits. Tried to kidnap her. Hold her for ransom. Jesus. And yet here you are. Seems like their plan didn't work out. This one did not go along willingly, no. I'm sure. She fought. But there were just too many of them. They overpowered this one. Beat her into submission. Jesus. And things went a bit downhill from there. Right about the time Makara told them there was no one to pay the ransom they wanted for her. Oh. They stole most of Makara's belongings, beat her within an inch of her life, and left her for dead. You could Blah. say their plan did not go well for either party, yes? I mean... Technically... It's definitely not gonna go well for the bandits, cause I'ma kill them. Did you see which way they went? No. You will have to forgive Makara, but she was a bit... Hmm... Indisposed, yes? Yeah, you know what, that's fair. They mentioned... A fort that they were going to take this one too, Back to the east. Makara did not hear its name, but the they cannot have gone far. But why do you want to know? I uh, might pay them a little visit, have a chat about the perils of kidnapping. A chat, hmm? You would do that for Makara? <laughs> would be nice if Makara could come with you to chat with them, but she is in no condition for it. That's fair. As is, this one has a long path ahead of her. And it is all she can do to stand here and talk to you right now. Makara cannot rightly ask you to have your chat with these bandits, 
But should you choose to go, please be careful, yes? Yeah, of course. There were many of them, and... Well, this one has made peace with what might happen to her on this journey. But she does not want to see you getting hurt on her account. Also, uh... Never mind. Ooh, excuse me. A little burpy for my energy drink. What is it? The bandits, they stole something from Akara. Mm -hmm. uh, a gem called the Cat's Eye Amethyst. Okay. If you could see your way to convincing them to return it to you, it would mean a lot to Makara. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Thank you for your kindness, stranger. May you walk on warm sands. Makara is going to head back to Darkwater Crossing for now to recover. If you need to find her, she will be there. Okay. Sounds good. Find the bandits who assaulted Makara. Okay. Can do. But first, I want to see if I can smelt down some of the crap I'm carrying. Since there was a smelter here, might as well see if I can do it there. There we go. Uh... <laughs> you alright there, bud? You okay? Oh boy, alright. Um and sword Elven Warhammer, I can smelt that down real easy. Uh smelt these down, that's good. Smelt these down, that's good. Alright, we'll call that good. That's my inventory now. 404, that ain't too bad. Um Wish I could smelt that down, but it's good enough as it is. Um, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. For right now, it's good. And with that, I guess we'll head off to the east to uh, meet those bandits teach them a little bit of a lesson. East would be that away. I thought you said weast. Ah, oh, Patrick, you're fired again. Okay. East is dead away. So, well, hello, Mr. Bear. Didn't expect to see you. Y'all good? Whoops. I wonder if I do this, will it? Yes, it will. Okay. That starts the fight almost immediately. All right. Okay. I am hungry, so I'm a little slower. I can still do the combat well enough. Yeah. Take that. It's mine now. Take that, that's mine now. That did not really change what it looks like at all. It's weird, I was expecting it would. East, so further that way. Okay. And you know what? I'm gonna have some venison stew, just so I deal with the food thing. And do some healing. So that way, I'm topped off for when I meet those delightful bandits. Should I? Yeah, might as well. Might as well. Ooh, an epidot. There we go. Green onyx as well. Interesting. Picking up a lot of stuff. A lot of useful stuff. That's always a win. Well, there's a fortress in that direction. Question is, is it this direction or the other direction? Well, I'll go down this way. 
seems to be down this way. Yep, I see some walls, so that must be the fortress. I'm going to assume they'll have someone posted outside. Also, I assumed I was closer than I actually seemed to be. Ah, uh, there we are. Okay, well, let's grab the crossbow, because it's going to be actual combatants now. You bastard, you killed that fox for just running over there! What's wrong with you? You bish. Take this. In your face. Right. Okay. Well. Haha. <laughs> well, so far so good. All right. And then we do one of these. Nope, I can't. Shit. Shit, fuck damn it. Okay, time to dodge. Haha. <laughs> Booyah. Gotcha, bish. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take my bolts back. Thank you. Alright, well. Not all of them followed him into battle, so that should help me a little. Just a little. Question is, where did they go? Oh, there they are. Well, hi there. So far, so good. Uh, let's do... Ah, there we go. That got some good damage. Uh, but I'm going to need some more <laughs> magic if I'm going to be continuing to do that. Okay. It is definitely getting a lot more damage than anything I was doing prior to this. <laughs> Okay, uh, but, uh, let me, uh, hmm. Skyrim, who? What? I can't hear you over the sound of exploding magic. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take that. Whoop. Almost forgot my steel bolt. Alright. Hello there. Oh, geez, now they're all just gonna be shooting at me like that, huh? Alright. You little shit. You little bastards. You're doing that the whole time, huh? Ugh. Whoop, okay. Okay, this is not working out like I hoped. Alright. Uh, uh, then, afforded by hell... Go gives me a little buffer room. Okay, and now I guess it's time for just straight up upright combat. There you go, got you. Oops, missed with that, but it's fine. You're dead anyway, bish. All right. Take all of that. Take that. Yeah, good enough. Er, I did. Okay. The other one also had orcish arrows. Interesting. Alright, and that's it. I think we're done. At least with the immediate combat. Which is good. Time to heal. Cover the item the bandit stole from Makara. Find someone outside who knows where it is. Is there going to be someone outside? I'm going to go grab my swords real quick. See if there's anyone around the fort. 
Because it said someone's outside. Oh, well, hi there. Hey, hey now. No need for violence. Come, let us talk. Okay. Listen, Sugar Claw has seen what you are capable of. I bet. He does not wish to fight you. Well, smart man. Are you one of the bandits? Well, yes, technically speaking. But before you cut Sugar Claw down, or mm -hmm. set him aflame, or whatever it is you do, hear him out. Por que no las dos? This one is one of the Mistwatch bandits, but there is a reason he is out here, rather than in the keep. Mm -hmm. You see, Khajiit, well, he has some misgivings about what it is we do here, he means. Okay. Misgivings? Yes, you see, this one was recruited to the group recently with promises of riches and shining treasure and... and skooma piled high to the sky. Mm-hmm. How could anyone pass this opportunity up? Sugarclaw asked himself, and he could not come up with a reason. Right. But once he arrived, mm -hmm. he hadn't realized by what means he would be acquiring his riches. Not theft as he had thought. Kidnapping, ransom, murder. Sugarclaw did not sign up for this. So why are you still here then? Well, this one spoke to the leader here. Despite the business she deals in, she is understanding. Oh, really? Yes. But so it is. She told Sugarclaw that he did not have to participate in the dirty work if it did not suit him. Instead, he could serve as a fence for the group. Mm -hmm. Sell the stolen goods that come through, Miss Torch. Make some coin the old fashioned way. So instead of kidnapping, you steal from kidnapping victims. Yeah, that's much better. Yes, Sugar Claw agrees. No so blood on his hands, to say. Okay. Only coins. Many, many coins. Oh, boy. I should kill you where you stand. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, listen, you're right. Sugar Claw knows he is no better than the others, even if he does not do any of the actual kidnapping. At least you're willing to admit that. Yes. That is why this one is out here. He's been waiting for a chance to slip away from the fort, but he is afraid he may be followed. Who knows what a bunch of bandits might do to a lone Khajiit out in the wilderness. That is why this one is still here. It is the only reason. You're not doing a good job of convincing me to let you live. No? <sighs> okay, listen. If you promise to leave Sugarclaw in peace, he will tell you a secret, yes? Okay, speak, and then I'll decide what to do. Mm, okay. Just recently, a scouting party picked up a Khajiit out in the road near Darkwater Crossing. Got way more than they bargained for. Uh -huh. She injured several of them before she was subdued. And then she oh, told them she? there was no one who could even pay her ransom. Total disaster, right? A bit. Well, Khajiit gathers they roughed her up a bit and let her go. But they grabbed a big gem from her satchel before they left. Big, big. When they mm -hmm. brought it back, the chief took a liking to it and decided to keep it for herself. Perks of being the chief, yes? I guess, yeah. And you're telling me all this why? Patience. This one tells you this because that gem is probably worth quite a few septums, if you find it. Hmm. And Sugar Claw knows where it is. Do you want to know? Do you? Sure. You promise not to kill this one? Yeah. Okay. It's in the fort, obviously. Specifically, it is in the chief's quarters. Okay. She keeps all her favorite items in the safe hidden behind her bed. Mm. Sneak into her quarters, find the safe, mm -hmm. and the gem is yours. Mm. A kitten could do it. You get rich, Sugar Claw continues to draw breath. Everyone wins. Mm -hmm. And, because you have been so generous, if you return to Sugarclaw, he will be happy to trade with you. Anything you have, this one will take. Yes? So, a fence. Okay. Fair. Fair enough. I'll leave you be then. Having a fence would be rather useful. Not gonna lie. Although, to be fair, I don't really steal much of anything, ever. 
But, you know, if I ever ended up incidentally, technically stealing from anyone, it would be nice to have someone I can sell it to. So sure, yeah, that works out. Okay, well, walk into Mistwatch North Tower. Time to be sneaky sneaky. Hey, who's there? Hi there. You over here quick, before any Stendar's mercy, you aren't one of them. Please, you've got to help me. Okay. What's going on? It's my wife, Viola. I think she's being held in this tower. Mm-hmm. I mean, we already know that this is a place that kidnaps and Holds for ransom. Okay. Seems legit. Calm down. Just tell me what happened. I'm sorry. I just... You're right. Let me explain. Mm -hmm. Fiola, my wife, left the farm on errands and never came back. It's been months, and I've been searching for her since. I heard a rumor that these bandits were ransoming captives, so I thought she may be here. Maybe. I managed to sneak past the guards and get this far, but... I don't think I can go on. The fact you got this far is impressive. Warrior. Please, can you look for her? You're sure she's being held here? Honestly, I have no idea. But I've looked all over, and the kidnappings here started around when she disappeared. So I have to hope. Okay, I'll look for her. Thank you. I don't have much, but I can give you some coin for the trouble. One of the guards dropped this key while hmm. I hid. I wager it'll come in handy for you. Please hurry. Okay, will do. But first I'm going to grab some stuff here. And the stuff around you is now mine, as far as I'm concerned. Ooh. And I'll grab that. And I'm peckish again. Damn it. Every time. Take that. And we're good. Cool. All right. Now we head in to the shenanigans. Are those cooked? Probably not. Okay. Um, since I do need to sleep, I cannot do that while enemies are nearby. Crap. Uh, okay. Well, it's going to be a bit of a struggle if I don't get up here and deal with them. So. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to end the episode here for right now. It's a little it's a little early, but I got other things I need to do. So, going to end the episode here for right now and also tag this uh, quest as well. So, Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to help Bikai and his lost locket. We got that. And now we came across another Khajiit who needs help. Uh, namely, getting the items stolen from her back. From the bandits in this tower. So we're going to go do that, and here's hoping no shenanigans ensue further. But then again, there's also the thing with that one guy's wife. So probably going to be some shenanigans anyway. That's life for you.